Hello, my name is Robert Bertrand. I'm a PhD student here at the University of Manitoba working under Dr. John Sorensen. Here in the Sorensen Research Group, we combine the powers of chemistry and biology to bring to life the wonders of natural products. Society was built on natural molecules. The very first antibiotic, penicillin, was discovered in fungi. Aspirin in the form of plant extracts has been used to alleviate pain and fever since the time of the Greeks. My research aims to find better ways to produce lichen molecules. Lichens are those colorful growths that you find on rocks and trees that are actually the combination of two organisms working together. Lichens produce many interesting molecules with medicinal and other properties. So why is it there are no jars full of lichen molecules in my lab already? Well, the problem with lichen is that lichen grows so slowly that there's literally a science devoted to studying how slowly it grows. It's called lichenometry, if you're wondering. You just can't grow enough lichen to make these molecules commonly available. We're trying to circumvent this problem through gene transfer by taking lichen DNA and transferring it to a faster growing organism. Molecules are made from proteins and proteins are encoded by DNA. So if we take the DNA responsible for a lichen molecule and put it inside of another organism like bacteria or fungi, you could essentially trick that organism into producing a natural product for us, faster. And among those molecules that we can produce, can we make them even better? Can we use chemistry to make them more potent? Can we bioengineer enzymes to make those changes for us? There are a variety of projects here that reflect the collaborative and multidisciplinary nature of our job. We're using fluorescent spectroscopy to detect fungal infection in crops. We're going algae to produce a natural product that reduces eye strain and could also be used as a nutritional supplement to eggs. We're taking manufacturing waste and turning it into fuel additives. I love working here. We have a fantastic group. We often see each other outside the lab just as we do inside the lab. Perhaps this reflects the community culture of Winnipeg. There are a lot of people in life that you have to work with. The professors and staff here at the University of Manitoba are those rare people that you get to work with. Every week, the group meets to discuss research progress, discuss problems or unexpected developments, and work together to take the next step forward in our program. My schedule is flexible. The question is only whether the job gets done and we move forward. I start my day in the lab when I need to and I leave when I need to, though often your experiments make those decisions for you. I end up coming here almost every day of the week anyways, not because I have to be here, but because I want to be here. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love it.